tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Isang magsaya at magandang araw sa lahat ng ating mga grade 6 learners at home learning partners. Nagbabalik po tayo dito sa Project SOAR, Quarter 4, Week 6, Advanced Lessons. Excited na ba kayong matuto grade 6? Para sumahan tayo mga bata, our lecturer is a graduate of Bachelor of Elementary Education with specialization in reading at Philippine Normal University, Manila Campus. She's currently a teacher too in DBYES, teaching mathematics for seven years. She's also our school guidance teacher, grade 6 math teacher, and MTAP trainer. Batang mandunong halinat matuto sa grade 6 math lesson kasama si Mrs. Kristin Claire F. Fehel. What's the answer? Correct. It is one. It is certain to happen. Number four. You will live until 200 years old. The answer is zero. It is impossible to happen. 
And number five, you can live without drinking water. The answer is zero. It is impossible to happen. Tama ba ang inyong mga sagot? Magaling! Our lesson for today is about probability, predictions, and outcomes. Let us study the first concept. Lesson 1, Listings and Diagrams of Outcomes. An event is one or more outcomes of an experiment. There are three ways in identifying the possible outcomes. First, by listing. Second, by tree diagram. And third, by basic counting principle. Let us see this example. How many possible answers or outcomes are there for a true-false test consisting of three questions. Let us answer this by using the three ways in identifying possible outcomes. Let us start with the first way, by listing. In our situation, there are three questions. First question, second question, and third question. Each question may be answered by true or false. Let us see the possible out outcomes or answer. Maaari tayong magkaroon ng sagot na tatlong true, dalawang true, isang false, isang true, isang false, isang true, isang false, dalawang true, Dalawang false, isang true. Isang false, isang true, isang false. At isang true, dalawang false. At tatlong false. Ngayon, bilangin natin ang mga sagot o possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, there are eight possible answers or outcomes. Next, let us choose by three diagram. Again, there are three questions. First, second, and third question. Sa unang tanong, maaari tayong magkaroon ng sagot na isang true o isang false. Sa ikalawang tanong, maaari tayong magkaroon ng isang sagot na true o kaya false mula sa sagot natin sa unang tanong na true. Ganun din, mula sa unang sagot na false, sa unang tanong, maaaring magkaroon ng true at isang false pagdating sa ikalawang tanong. Sunod, maari naman tayong magkaroon ng isang true at isang false na sagot pagdating sa ikatlong tanong. Ito ay mula sa true na sagot sa ikalawang tanong. Maari din tayong magkaroon ng isang true at isang false na sagot sa ikatlong katanungan na galing sa tan sagot na false sa ikalawang tanong. Ganoon din. Isang true at isang false ang maaring sagot sa ikatlong tanong galing sa true na sagot sa ikalawang tanong. At isa pa rin true o kaya isang false galing sa sagot na false sa ikalawang katanungan. Bilangin muli natin ang mga possible answers or outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, there are 8 possible answers or outcomes using the by tree diagram.
Now, let us use the third way, which is by basic counting principle. Let us notice that for each question, there are two possible answers or outcomes, which is true or false. Sa unang tanong, maaari tayong magkaroon ng sagot na dalawa, isang true o kaya isang false. Ganun din, pagdating sa ikalawang tanong, maaari magkaroon ng dalawang sagot, isang true o kaya isang false. Pagdating naman sa ikatlong tanong, maaari magkaroon ulit ng dalawang sagot, isang true, isang false. Ngayon, imumultiply natin ang bawat sagot sa bawat katanungan. So, 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. Therefore, there are 8 possible answers or outcomes using by basic counting principle. Alinman sa tatlong paraan ang ating gagamitin ang by listing by tree diagram at by basic counting principle, parehas lang ang ating sagot. Ito ay magkakaroon ng 8 possible answers or outcomes. Now, let us answer these exercises. Directions, use tree diagram to get all the possible outcomes. It was recess time in school. The menu in the canteen was posted on the wall. How many different ways you can order your combo snacks? Here is the menu. Sandwiches, merong ham sandwich, chicken sandwich, and tuna sandwich. At ang mga juice naman ay orange juice at pineapple juice. Ilan kaya ang maaring combo snacks? Tingnan natin kung tama ang inyong mga sagot. Maari tayong magkaroon ng combo na ham sandwich plus orange juice at saka ham sandwich plus pineapple juice. Maari rin tayong magkaroon ng combo snacks na chicken sandwich plus orange juice at saka chicken sandwich plus pineapple juice. Ganoon din, maari tayong magkaroon ng combo snacks na tuna sandwich plus orange juice at saka tuna sandwich plus pineapple juice. Ngayon, bilangin natin ang mga combo snacks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kaya, mayroon tayong 6 different ways to have a combo snacks. Ano ang magiging sagot? Ngayon, tingnan natin kung tama ang inyong mga kasagutan. Gamitin natin ang tree diagram. Sa unang spin, magkakaroon tayo ng outcome na head o kaya ay tail. Sa ikalawang spin naman, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng outcome na isang head o isang tail. 
at sa ikatlong spin, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng outcome na isang head o isang tail. Bilangin natin ang maaaring mga sagot for outcome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, there are 6 possible outcomes. Tama ba ang inyong mga sagot? Magaling! Now, let us study the second concept. Lesson 2. Make simple prediction of an event. What is probability? Probability of an event or p-event tells the chance or likelihood that an event will happen. It is the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the number of possible outcomes. Let us see the formula in finding the probability of an event, assuming that the outcomes are equally likely. Probability of an event or p-event is equal to number of the favorable outcomes divided by total number of the possible outcomes. Ito po ang ating formula para makuha ang probability ng isang event. If fraction is used to express probability, the fraction must be in simplest form. Let us have this example. Example 1, roll a die. If a die is rolled once, what is the probability of rolling a 4? Tandaan natin that there are 6 possible outcomes in rolling a die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Gagamitin po natin ang formula na ito. Probability of an event is equal to the number of the favorable outcomes to the total number of the possible outcomes. Sa ating die, mayroon lang tayo isang apat. Kaya, probability of getting a 4 is equal to 1 over 6. 4, 1, 6. Letter B. What is the probability of getting 2 or 6? Muli, there are 6 possible outcomes in rolling a die. At gagamitin po natin ulit ang formula na ito. Sa ating die, meron tayong isang dalawa at isang anim. Kaya, probability of getting 2 or 6 is equal to 2, 6. Let us remember that we should express a fraction in lowest term. So, the lowest term of 2, 6 is 1 third. Therefore, the probability of getting 2 or 6 is 2 out of 6 or 2, 6 equals 1 third. Let us continue. Letter C. What is the probability of getting an odd number? Sa ating die, meron tayong tatlong odd numbers. Isang 1, isang 3, at isang 5. Muli, gamitin natin ang formula na ito para makuha ang probability ng odd numbers. Probability of odd numbers equals 3, 6, 3, kasi tatlo ang ating odd numbers, 1, 3, at 5, 6. Kasi meron tayong 6 possible outcomes in rolling a die once. 3, 6, or 1 half. So, 
the probability of getting an odd number is 3 out of 6 or 3 6 equals 1 half. Let us have example number 2. There are 6 yellow marbles, 4 blue marbles, and 2 green marbles in the bag. What is the probability of picking a yellow marble? There are 6 yellow marbles and the total marbles in the bag are 12. Because 6 plus 4 plus 2 is 12. We will use this formula in getting the probability of picking a yellow marble. Probability of picking yellow marbles is equal to 6 over 12. 6, ito po ang ating yellow marbles. 12, ito po ang ating possible outcomes dahil 12 lahat ng marbles. The probability of its outcome. Number one, an even number. Number two, number six. Number three, number less than seven. Number four, number one or two. At number five, number eight. <music> Ngayon, tingnan natin kung tama ang inyong mga naging sagot. 
the probability of getting an even number is 1 half. Number 2, the probability of getting number 6 is 1 sixth. Number 3, probability of getting number less than 7, the answer is 1. Number 4, the probability of getting number 1 or 2 is 1 third. And the out number 5, the outcome in getting number 8 is 0. Is your answer correct? Very good. Let us continue. Now, let us study that last concept. Lesson 3, Problem Solving About Probability. But before we proceed to problem solving about probability, let us first know what is theoretical and experimental probability. Theoretical probability is what we expect to occur, wherein experimental probability is what actually happens when we do trials. What is theoretical probability? Theoretical probability of an event can be obtained by the getting the ratio of the favorable outcomes to the total possible outcomes. So, we will use this formula in finding the probab theoretical probability. Theoretical probability of an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. When we use a formula to find the probability of an event, we are finding the theoretical probability. Now let us know what is experimental probability. Experimental probability of an event can be obtained by getting the ratio of the number of times an outcome is obtained to the total number of trials. So, we will use this formula. Experimental probability of an event is equal to the number of times favorable outcomes occur divided by the total number of trials in the experiment. When we find the probability of an event by doing an experiment, we are finding the experimental probability. Let us see this example. A bag contains 10 white ping pong balls, 6 yellow ping pong balls, and 4 green ping pong balls. Find the theoretical and experimental probabilities of getting a yellow ping pong ball. Let us first use theoretical probability. We will use this formula. Theoretical probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of the possible outcomes. So, in our situation, there are 6 yellow balls. Ito po ang ating favorable outcomes. And the total of 20 balls, ito po ang ating possible outcomes. So, Theoretical probability of getting yellow ping pong ball is 6 over 20. 6 ang ating favorable outcomes. 20 ang ating total number of possible outcomes. Let us express this fraction to lowest term. So, 6 over 20 is equal to 3 tenths. Now, use experimental probability. Let us have the, this solution. First, take a ping pong ball from the bag. Second, record the color and return the ping pong in the bag. Third, repeat the process at least 30 times. Fourth, 
Count the number of times a yellow ping pong ball was picked. Suppose it is 24 times. This is the formula we are going to use in experimental probability of an event. It is number of times favorable outcome occur divided by total number of trials in the experiment. So, theoretic experimental probability of picking yellow ping pong balls is 24 over 30. 24, ito po ang ating favorable outcomes kasi 24 times nakuha ang yellow ping pong balls. 30, ito po yung ating total number of trials. Or, 24 over 30 is equal to 4 fifths. Now, let us answer these exercises. Directions. Solve the problem. Cassie tossed a coin 20 times and recorded her results in a table below. Find the theoretical and experimental probability of getting a head. Let us first answer by using theoretical probability. Let us see what is the theoretical probability of the event. The number of head that we can obtain from tossing a coin is 1. And the number of faces in a coin is 2. It is either, it is either head or tail. So, the theoretical probability of an event is 1 half. Next. Let us answer this by using experimental probability. Let us see what is the answer. Experimental probability is equal to number of times that the head is obtained over total number of times of tossing a coin. So, in our situation, the number of times that the head is obtained is 12. And the total times of tossing a coin is 20 because 12 plus 8 equals 20. 12 over 20 expressed to lowest term is 3 fifths. So our experimental probability of getting head is 3 fifths. Let us remember that probability of an event or p-event tells the chance or likelihood that something will occur. It is the ratio of the number of ways a certain event can occur to the number of possible outcomes. Theoretical probability is what we expect to occur, wherein experimental probability is what actually happens when we do trials. At dito po nagtatapos ang ating advanced lesson sa Mathematics 6, Quarter 4, Week 6. Maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin at sa panunood sa ating lesson. Muli, ako po si Teacher Christine Claire Feher na nagsasabing, Matsayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto.